Wade Diamond. And I'm Eric Maynard, and we're here corresponding for WTVH Channel 87 News. We're going to tell you a little bit about this year's King Queen candidates for Tug Valley High School. Hey, I'm Farron. I'm a Queen candidate at Tug Valley High School. I'm in 12th grade, and I'm a cheerleader. Oh, hi. I'm Shonda Murphy. Um, I'm in the 12th grade. I'm uh, one of your 2012 Queen candidates for homecoming. Look, go. Hi, I'm Vinny Sturgill. I'm a senior and a cheerleader, and I'm running for 2012 home coming queen. This is Corey Dillon. I can't say just his first name. I've tried many times. I always say his last name. But he's in the running for homecoming king. Introduce yourself. My name is Kyle Blankenship, and I'm running for homecoming king. What grade are you in? 12th. Okay. Um, why do you All right, this is Mikey Newsom, and he's interviewing for the, uh, we're interviewing him for the Homecoming King position, and we're going to see his thoughts on various things. Breaking news, words from our glorious leader. I feel that all Homecoming candidates should provide proof that they were born in this country, um, including being born in this county. Um, and I would like to know where they stand on uh, subjects like um, uh, animal research. I think it's very important in a homecoming queen or king. What about coal? We're asking everyone. Coal is good. I think that they should incorporate coal uh, in their costumes and in their um, uh, on the field attire in some sort. I, I really think that our homecoming queen tiara. Um, needs to change from rhinestones to coal. And last question, Team Edward or Team Jacob? Team Mr. Branch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just how thrilling it can be to be a freshman. But you better be careful, they're a little bit scary.
Next year, you all stomp them in the ground so hard that they don't even want to play next year because they remember you all. Hey, how's it going, Michael? Fun. Um, WTVH fans and Tug Valley High School. This is Michael Messer. He is a percussionist at Tug Valley High School, and he is a sophomore this coming this this year, I should say. Sure. Uh, Michael is a great musician. He's he's been in the marching band for two years, and he'll be auditioning for the Allstate Band in January. Go ahead, Lee. How's the band doing this year, Michael? We are doing good, and we are doing better than what we did last year. That's also. We have more people. That's pretty good. Actually. That's pretty good. We need to improve the arts at this school instead. Now, um, what is the role of this marching band at the football games? We entertain the fans and we support the cheerleaders and the football players. That's good. That's good. Now, um, why do you enjoy being in band life? I enjoy band because it's part of my passion. That's good. You need to have passion in life. Um, the band will be performing at the homecoming parade this Friday around noon after lunch. So come out and see the band, all the candidates, the football players, cheerleaders, and everyone else. Also, if you miss out on the parade, the band will be performing at the football game this coming Friday night along with the football players, cheerleaders, and students as well. So come out and support everyone. If this is our school, have some school spirit and have some Panther pride. This is Josh Tharp. This is Lee Diamond for WTVH News.